So there's been a movement to research uh, solar panels that can last 50 years. This research, I think, has been started due to bifacial glass glass solar panels. And, and I think in the marketplace, my favorite solar panel manufacturer in the whole wide world, Meyerberger, they might have the first panel that will last for 50 years at a viable number uh, and, and be above like 85% efficiency after 50 years. And they may not be the first. They're the, probably the first that I saw because there's other glass, glass by facial manufacturers who are out before them. And, uh, and I don't even know if this product's on the market. They just have a spec page out. I'm sure you can buy it. But uh, glass, glass by facial solar panels have the potential to last 50 years above 85% efficiency. And I ran the numbers on if a solar panel would last uh, 50% or, or, or above 93%. So the number that's in the Meyerberger spec page, I said, okay, they, they specify 93% after 30 years. I'm just going to sales pitch that we can do 93% after 50 years. Just add 50 more years. I ran the math. And it adds about 46% to the discounted cash flow. Now, this is before a whole bunch of other things. And I did it this way because I didn't want to insinuate that I knew what two inverter replacements would cost uh, and whatever else might happen after two after 50 years. But I thought it interesting that uh, we could add 46%, hundreds, you know, just think about this, Tim. If you guys were developing a project and you were selling it to a capital partner, you would sell it based upon the future electricity generation. And if your contract had a 50-year land lease agreement instead of a 25-year land lease agreement, you'd be able to sell it for some of that money in years 26 through 50. In my little rough math world, the beginnings of that equation gives you 46% more math, more money. Meaning if you were to take a project from Greenfield to PTO, you could make uh, 46%, well, the beginnings of 46%. You gotta figure out what the extra cost of O&M will be over those periods. But I just thought that was really big. Uh, you know, this is time value associated for, so we looked far, you know, we're making predictions about far, far in the future, things that everybody usually fails at. Uh, but you know, we have some numbers there to say a 50 year solar panel can increase your discounted cash flow 46%. That's cool to know. It's cool to think about if you're going to consider signing a longer land lease agreement. Um, and, and, you know, we're going to, and I don't know what's going to happen. You know, I, I actually have some doubt on whether we'll want to keep the original panel around for 50 years because we might want to double our efficiency keep our AC sizing the same, but then double our panel efficiency, get more panels and add some batteries and, uh, and get, get a better energy profile, a longer profile. Because I think after 25 years, we're gonna do a lot of repowering with bigger DC on the same AC connection. But who knows? We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I, I, you uh, know, but, I, I, I just, yeah. I think that lower degradation is, is better, right? Period, it's gonna give you better ROI. It's going to give you longer life so that you don't have to repower as often, which means less recycling or potential waste issues. So, yeah, this this trend is is something that we will continue to see. Lower degradation is better, and you want lower.